the Davis Cup. For some, the stage of unparalleled glories. Others, unfulfilled dreams. Our two finalists have experienced both emotions. Just over a decade after their debut in the competition, Croatia were triumphant in their sole final appearance. By contrast, after nearly a century in the tournament, Argentina have never tasted victory. Four finals, four defeats. Now, both nations have their sights on the trophy once again and showing their colours on the greatest platform. Striving to claim the biggest prize in team tennis. Our team hasn't been in the final uh, since 2005. The history only remembers the winners. 11 years after we are in the final, we can uh, use that to dream big. But standing in the way of host Croatia is an ominous figure. The fit again Argentine, Juan Martín del Potro. I'm so happy to be on tour again after uh, almost two years uh, without tennis life and it was frustrating for me at the beginning of my injuries but then I, I keep working on trying to fix the problem all the time and now I'm, I'm li living a very nice present playing tennis and I'm so happy to share with uh, all the players at the locker room and also the fans uh, at the court are so so nice with me all the time they they give me a lot of energy to, to keep improving, to keep working, and I never get up because of them. Um, it's amazing. Still an uh, amazing, great team with Del Potro. He's back, he's playing uh, unbelievably good tennis, and uh, they have uh, such a good team. Uh, every year they are playing for uh, winning the Davis Cup, always strong team. You don't know what Del Potro is maybe in the shape of his life with the finals and there is a lot of pressure, there is a lot of feelings and emotions and it's just the whoever is more inspired and motivated at, at, the, at the time of, of the match and this is once you're at home the things are much easier. Yes, the pressure is bigger but you get the support that you don't get anywhere else and this is what pushes you to, to, to give more and to show better tennis than maybe that you're playing at the moment. Well, we are visitors again. They're really good. They have a really good team. They have good doubles too. And when it comes to singles, we are quite even. So it will be a hard team to deal with. But we have also given a good fight in away games. It's going to be a huge tie and, you know, uh, they're all very happy to play at home finally because I think for the last 10 matches uh, we have played away and it was, it was not a good feeling, obviously. I expect it's going to be crazy. It's, uh, uh, it also needs to be crazy because uh, it's the Davis Cup, uh, it's the final and it just needs to be crazy. That's the right world. To win it, it would be very nice, but we had to do things very well in order to get that. But to be part of a, another final, it's an honor, and we will try to, we will defend our colors as good as we can. We enjoyed so much the semis against France. Uh, the atmosphere was amazing, and uh, to have a final at home, uh, it's just, uh, a huge, uh, huge motivation for our team. Uh, Argentina on the other side is, is also great motivation uh, with Del Potro coming back and uh, obviously they, they won this Davis Cup title uh, uh, a lot and uh, it means definitely a lot to them and it's going to be, uh, I guess, a great weekend of tennis and uh, we just hope that uh, we're going to be able to get one more win for our nation. We started out with 135 nations. Now, we're down to just two. It's Croatia versus Argentina. But who will be the 2016 Davis Cup by BNP Paribas champion? Join us from the 25th of November to find out.